Thank you. Thank you very much. It is my great honor to welcome President Ninutso to the White House. We've just concluded a very positive meeting, and I want to begin today by extending my thoughts and prayers for those affected by Hurricane Harvey and the catastrophe of flooding and all of the other difficulties that they're currently going through in Houston, in southeast Texas. And now it's looking more and more like the state of Louisiana will be also affected. My administration is coordinating closely with state and local authorities in Texas and Louisiana to save lives, and we thank our first responders and all of those involved in their efforts. We're working directly with Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who, by the way, is doing a fantastic job, and his entire staff, likewise, as well as with Governor John Bell Edwards, who's very much uh, involved in starting the process of Louisiana. We've pledged our full support as Texas and Louisiana battle and recover from this very devastating and historic storm. There's probably never been anything like this. Under the supervision of FEMA, Administrator Brock Long, there has been uh, a, a tremendous amount of work done. He has, he has been so outstanding in so many ways. More than 8,500 federal workers are involved in the Texas effort alone. I've also today declared emergencies in Louisiana at the request of Governor Edwards. Recovery will be a long and difficult road, and the federal government stands ready willing and able to support that effort. Right now, the single most important thing is the safety and security of those still in harm's way, including the first responders who have been so terrific and brave. Protecting the lives of our people is my highest priority. Every asset at my command is at the disposal of local officials. Tragic times such as these bring out the best in America's character, Strength, charity, and resilience are those characters. We see neighbor helping neighbor, friend helping friend, and stranger helping stranger. And you see that all over. You watch on television, you just see such incredible work and love and teamwork. We are one American family. We hurt together. We struggle together. And believe me, we endure together. We are one family. To the people of Texas and Louisiana, we are 100 percent with you. We're praying for you. We're working closely with your leaders and officials. And I will be visiting the impact zone tomorrow to ensure that you're receiving full support and cooperation from the federal government. And on Saturday, we think we're going back to Texas, and also we will be going to Louisiana. Nothing can defeat the unbreakable spirit of people of Texas and Louisiana. Right now, every American heart sends its love and support to those whose lives have been upended, totally upended, totally, by this very horrible storm. We ask God for His wisdom and strength. We will get through this. We will come out stronger. And believe me, we will be bigger, better, stronger than ever before. The rebuilding will begin, and in the end, it will be something very special. And I just want to thank everybody in the affected area, because it has been absolutely incredible to watch the spirit, the cooperation, and the love. 